Hey everybody, it's Missy Wolf, and we're here at the Ryman with Mark McKay and his amazing band. How are you guys? So good. Good, good. Excited. Excited. All right, now you guys are on tour with somebody special. Tell me about it. Ted Nugent and um, uh, Jeff here, who's like a guitar idol of all of ours. I think he was locked in his basement learning how to play every Ted Nugent riff for most of his life. And uh, so it's fun to have him out with us and uh, play rock and roll pretty loud. And we're playing louder than normal, wouldn't you guys say? Oh, yeah. I'd say so. Yeah. Keep up with his 48 amplifiers on stage. <laughs> and uh, it's been a great run so far. That's awesome. Now, what does it mean for you to be at the Ryman? Because so many people have been here at the Ryman, and it's just a very legendary place. Yeah, I mean, not not to speak for the whole group, but I, I still don't think we, uh, we realize that we're sitting in here yet, you know? I think, I remember, I actually remember getting the text. I was driving in Colorado, and I got the text that said, you've been approved to play the Ryman. And I, I think Wilson and I had had a conversation going. So I think he was the first guy that found out. <laughs> but I just texted everybody in a group text and said, I don't drive off the road, guys, but we're playing the Ryman Auditorium, you know? And uh, I don't know, I think everyone's, I think we've all just been very excited about it since that day. That's great. Now, have you guys all like celebrated with your families and been like social media posting and everything? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely called mom. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely had to tell mom. Awesome, awesome. Now, do you guys all have family then here tonight su supporting you? I have family here. Uh, My girl's rolling in here in about uh, 20 minutes or so. so yeah, nice. It'll be fun. I've got an aunt and a cousin that are local that are coming tonight because I told them, if you don't come to my show in the city that you live in, I uh, won't talk to you anymore. <laughs> Good. Uh, Good move coming. I got my brother. He showed up to support. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, hey, bro. <laughs> you guys you guys seem like you have so much fun on, on just, I mean, everywhere you are. So are there any fun stories that have gone on behind the scenes this tour? Somebody think of one. There's five million of them. They happen every minute. It, it might be tough to think of one on command. Do you guys think yeah. of something? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Adam Hall. You're on the spot. <laughs> I think that the, uh, the music selection is, is one of the things that's a highlight for me as a, as a writing in the band. It's like... There's ambrosia and all kinds of like yacht rock stuff going on. Yeah, you, can't, for like 20 years. you can't listen to country or rock and then go play a country rock. Right, so right. You gotta listen to like yacht rock yeah, or right. you know, you yeah, know yeah. something bluegrass, right, you know, right, something right. like that. Yeah. yeah. Just to get in the mood. Ambrosia has been a highlight for sure. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys are so much fun. What are you looking forward to most tonight though? Um, who wants to take that question? Somebody Wilson, come on. Tonight I'm most looking forward to this evening based on the fact that so much history in this room, so many greats graced that stage. My uncle actually played this stage with Stonewall Jackson back in the 70s. So this is personally a very important night for me because I'm the only other person in my family to ever get to play this stage. That's on a personal note. But then obviously, it's just, uh, you know, it's it's the the energy in the room and um and being on stage with these guys despite what i actually feel about them is, is <laughs> it's, it's, it's going to be a lot of fun so um and and that's the 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 concludes the sentimental moment of this uh, interview <laughs> yeah you guys got anything to add yeah oh, well oh, i mean you know i grew up with my dad was a country singer mm -hmm. and you know of course his dream is always to kind of make it as a big singer and it never quite happened for him so i'm sure like this is you know just to make my dad proud that i'm playing mm -hmm. at the ryman theater you know and you know nashville tennessee you know he's just tripping out it's awesome you know it's a highlight for me for sure yeah, yeah just to to play the stage where all my you know all-time heroes stood uh is absolutely mind-blowing and it's very exciting yes and what about you um kind of same what they said uh i mean i just think a lot of the music that i grew up loving you know has has you know this has kind of been the epicenter of of all of that mm -hmm. and the history with the opry and just this building i mean i i think it speaks for itself and this is definitely like a bucket list thing i think for all of us so yeah definitely. Like we're right. really excited you know I, I love it now we're sitting in the johnny cash room for those of you who haven't figured it out by the stuff on the walls um <laughs> but johnny cash is a huge staple here in nashville and there are so many other great legends are there any in particular that are, you know, your influences? Do you have any that you just, that stand out to you as being one that you just absolutely? Yeah, I mean, I, I think we could probably do an, in, you know, an individual interview on each guy for mm -hmm. an hour on that one. But I know for me, um, Glenn Campbell is my, my hero in this stuff, you know, and I, I watch, um, 
whenever I'm bored or I'm, I have time, I, I always watch YouTube videos and there's so much footage of him playing here. My favorite version of Wichita lineman, it was recorded here, um, a live, live version of it. And, uh, you know, I always, I have this, um, as a front man, I always think about this. I, I have this, uh, picture of him that I always remember he had a special way of looking out to the crowd he had this just just holding the guitar he was so natural and he had this he had this connection just off of like his charisma with the fans mm -hmm. you know and uh I just always have that vision of him standing there with a strap looking out to the Ryman and I I you know I think I'll probably get a little emotional when I pick up my strap tonight to do the <laughs> same thing you know anybody else got something there yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> Everybody loves Glenn Campbell yeah. and Johnny Cash, so it's all good. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Now let's talk about your new music and everything that you've had going on. I mean, you've you've been really busy. You've been doing a lot of stuff. And um, last time I spoke to you, we had just started talking about trials and tribulations. So how's how's all of that been? For well, you? first of all, it's really good to see you again. Yeah. We should see each other more often yes. than the last time we talked about that. Right. Um, yeah. So that th to answer that 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 actually ties into a bigger thing I wanted to say about this whole thing. You know, we we've probably I know I've played north of 800 shows around the country, and that started that started in little tiny bars with one person there, you know, yeah. and it graduated to casinos, and then it graduated to other, you know, that type dive bars, whatever. Yeah. Um, so, as as far as you know, the journey to get here in that sense, uh, that's the thing that I'm the most blown away about. New music is coming, all this stuff. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll talk about that, but the fact that these guys have all been in the trenches with me. I mean, Adam has played some unspeakable venues with me. <laughs> we shan't speak of that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so uh, it, it's nice. On, on the topic of music, mm -hmm. Trials and Tribulations was what sort of got this whole ball rolling. There's no way that, that we could be playing the, the caliber shows and the number of shows and the different yeah. cities that we play had we not released that album. Yeah. Uh, and we're still playing songs off of that album to this day. And uh, yeah, there is new music. There's, new, there's two new songs that we're going to play tonight. That, that are yet to be released, um, but they're in the works. And obviously, our our signing with Peter Strickland uh, has put just a uh, an energy through through all of us, I think. And so, yeah, new music's on the horizon. And um, I hope that you know an iconic show like this is just the start of of more iconicness. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it is. So, where can fans find you? Uh, you can find us everywhere. You can find us on uh, Instagram and every social media uh, at M2 McKay and Facebook and uh, you can find us on the Ryman website tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Ryman, <laughs> Ryman slash tour dates, I think. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, you heard him, so check him out. Stay tuned for more new music from them, and we will see you soon.